for me, this is where things really changed. There was a viciousness amongst the English that, um, yeah, but that's when it's, I think, become quite disturbing, you know. It's, it got a bit serious. The viciousness of the England firm was not just in its actions, it was in its thinking. An increasing number of England's troublemakers displayed overtly racist right-wing sympathies. Well, there was a period of time from the mid-80s where it really purely became about a, a sort of more nationalistic right-wing attitude that prevailed really with the travelling support. And um, it ended up being quite depressing, you know, to the point that you won't really want to travel and, 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 and be near it. Well, why, you know? The England firm may have included a right-wing element, but not all hooligan groups followed such ideals. Danny's headed to Birmingham, Britain's second largest city. It's the birthplace of a firm which, had its activities not been deemed socially unacceptable, would have been held up as a perfect example of a multicultural and integrated organisation. I'm here in Birmingham to meet one of the most famous firms in these parts. Their name's enough to send a shiver down the spine of their rivals. Of course, I'm talking about the Zulus. The Zulu Warriors, the firm of Birmingham City Football Club, reflects the ethnic mix of the city. Danny's on his way to meet England's first racially mixed hooligan gang. There's been huge immigration into the Midlands, and if you actually look at the, the successes in terms of racial integration, Birmingham is held up as a cultural melting pot, and it very much is. And I think the, the history of Birmingham City Football Club is absolutely, totally linked to that. The Zulus as, as a gang are, are noticeable, they really are noticeable for the fact that they are a mixed race football hooligan gang. And while you do get black lads in other hooligan firms, you don't tend to find the same mix. They take their name from African warriors who once fought the British Army during the Boer War and they chant just like the Zulus did as they went into battle. I think it's the most famous chant down the football. If you're walking on a Tuesday night or whatever night it is, there's 400 lads and they ch chant the name Zulu. It's fucking very intimidating. As Danny is about to find out. Let's have it. What it gave to us was, it's a camaraderie thing. These are my brothers. If I'm walking up the road, I look to my left and my right, he's a good lad, he's a good lad. Behind me, he's a good lad, he's a good lad. They're all from different areas of Birmingham. If something happens and it's really, really, really on top, these people will back me up. Have you ever gone for a fight and you've seen 200 black people combined with white people frowning at you with veins in their neck and their eyes are popping out their head with spit coming out their mouths. It's a different kettle of fish because most people are not used to seeing that many people coming to fight you, especially when they're black and white. Like the African warriors they're named after, the Zulus are a force to be reckoned with. When you see hundreds of people running towards you, your legs shake, your mouth goes dry, yep. You look at your friends, you look for a space in the road, you find you your space, you, you start to jump, decision. it's trying to shake the shakiness out of your legs, you get your position and you're ready and you look at your mates, this is it, yeah. and you're waiting for it to land. A bit like Braveheart, yeah. when the English are coming, hold, yeah. hold, yeah. hold, yeah. hold, yeah! You'd wake up in the morning before a big game, at 6, 6 oh. 30 in the morning to get yourself ready, yeah. tingling. I'd get up, do my stretching, Put my legs up and thought, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna kick some fucking ass today and go home. Football hooligans are often stereotyped as being white and racist, but the Zulu's racial mix has provided Danny with a surprisingly different image. The actions of the firms of Millwall, West Ham and Birmingham have tainted their club's reputation. But hooliganism is also a problem for those at the top of the tree.